hi guys so it's been a while since my last video but here I am back and better than ever actually to be honest I'm really tired I just came from a six-year-old's birthday party so you know how that goes anyway the the second video in learning how to adapt exercise for someone with a muscle disease <clears throat> we're talking about adapt which is the acronym that I use to explain how to learn how to adapt exercises to you and your needs. And the first one was A for accessible. Go check it out if you haven't watched it yet. And now we are on D for doable. Is it doable? What do I mean like th by that? Well, is the exercise feasible to you? Can you do it? Can you do the move, the technique properly? If you're not doing something properly, it doesn't matter if you can do it one way or another way. If you don't have proper form, you want to be very careful because there are ways you can hurt yourself. And some other ways, if you're not doing it properly, you might not be getting any benefit from it. So it just, it totally depends on the exercise and what it is that you're doing and how you're doing it. So you want to look at all kind of all those things. Are you doing it properly? As properly as you can. Are you getting any benefit from doing it even if you are not doing it properly? Actually, let's back up. Are you going to hurt yourself if you're not able to do it properly? And third, are you getting any benefit um, from doing it the way you're doing it if you can't do it properly? So those are all things that you want to look into to make sure that you can do it. And then also, it's important to set goals, but like I said before, in accessibility, you don't want to be setting a goal for running five miles if you're someone that can't even walk right now, because that's very out of reach. It's a very, very high standard goal. And if you know anything about goal setting, you want to set achievable goals. So... Yeah, aim high, but make sure they're achievable. So even like if you have a really, really high goal, start with a small goal first, work up to that, and then get to those bigger goals. Or if you like really, really want to jump for that bigger goal, okay, go ahead, write it down, set that big goal, but then make sure you, you write down smaller goals and a plan for how you're going to reach those goals too. That's what I mean when I say doable. Only other thing I can think of right now to tell you guys, I know a lot of you have been asking about my experience with the Rista plan. I'm still taking it. I still like it better than Spinraza. You know what? I'm going to do a separate video and talk more about that. But anyway, I hope you all are enjoying this, enjoying this like exercise, how to adapt exercise for you or for someone with muscle disease. I hope it's helping. Let me know. Comment like, is this helping you? Is it not? Yeah, just leave a comment below. If you do like these, please go ahead, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great week, everybody.